All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to set up this TP link mesh system. Um, this is the M4 model, 1200 AC, which is the speed. If you saw the other video, I've already unboxed it. So that's why it looks like this. But basically, it's the M4 model. You get three of these bad boys. Uh, 1200, meaning 867 megabytes per second maximum on 5G and 300 megabytes on 2.4G. So this is what you get in the box. You get a quick installation guide. And literally, it's 40 pages, like 40 different languages. All it tells you is to download the app, and it tells you what the LED lights mean. So my problem is, this is the first time I'm setting this up. I don't know if I should plug it in right away, but what we're going to do is we're going to set it up on the, in the spots of our house where we want them to be, and then I will get that app. Register and we'll go from there and see what happens. So knock on wood So we'll take out one of these This we're gonna hook up to our uh, Router right here. So we're gonna leave that here for now And what you get for that is you get a power adapter So I'll plug that in after obviously once I distribute these other two throughout the house and they gave us an Ethernet cable and we're going to use this Ethernet cable to connect this to the router. And then I believe these are going to link with that one. So let me take it out. That's one. That's two. And there are power adapters there in their little respective boxes. Yeah, so you can see it's the power adapter in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go upstairs, put one of these upstairs, and I'm going to go to the top floor and put one there. And then I will download the app. I'm going to register, and we're going to come back and see what happens from there. All right, so we're on the main floor. This is where we're going to set one of them up. Um, you're going to have to plug it in. But like I said, I'm not going to plug anything directly into the power until... Sorry, until the app tells me what to do. Kind of hard with one hand. But okay, that's plugged in. It's going to go where that old Wi-Fi extender that we have is. I'm not going to plug it in yet, but that's where this is going to be in the main floor. And then on the top floor. We will put one right here. So it's going to be right next to the bathroom when people, you know, need to do the most internet searches. So there, we got one on the top floor. We got one on the main floor. We got one in the basement. Now we're going to go get that app and see what we have to do. Okay, as you guys saw, I put these decos in their respective spots where I would like them to be. Um, I can move them around after, like if need be. But for now, we have one next to the modem. There's one on the main floor and there's one on the top floor. I haven't plugged in anything yet because they literally told me in the instruction booklet just to download this Deco app and go from there. So I'm going to open that up right now. And um, if you don't have this app, you need to get it because it's the only way you can do it. So we're going to click Let's Begin. And it's asking us for the model. So our model is M4. We're going to click on that. It says what you'll need, find these in your deco packaging. You'll only need one deco for now, more can be set up later. So we're going to need the Ethernet cable that came in the box and one of the power adapters and obviously one of the deco units. Click next. Then it says power off your modem and remove the backup battery if it has one. Disconnect your old router from the modem before moving on. So what I'm going to do with the modem is literally just unplug it. I'm not going to go to the power strip because I don't think it really matters to be honest so the modem's unplugged this is still not plugged in I'm gonna click next and it says plug in your devices connect your modem's LAN port to either Ethernet port on Deco and power them on both so we're gonna put one end into the modem I'll just put it in number one because it's free and then here on the deco unit, I'll put it into number one as well. Put that there. Then it says power them both on. So let me get the power cable for the deco. 
it goes through the bottom here and then I will power on both if I can even reach down here okay so that one's plugged in as you can see the light turns on there we're gonna plug in the modem and then we'll see what happens so let's click next check your modem wait for about two minutes for your modem to start up when the modem is ready the internet led on your modem will usually light up and become stable So we're gonna to have to give it some time as you can see it's still powering up this deco is flashing blue now let me look into their little nifty booklet and see what that means blue pulse which it's doing it means the deco is ready for setup um let's give the modem like 30 seconds more and then we'll see what happens You can see 2.4G and 5G is flashing, getting those connections. And after that, I'm pretty sure it should be more or less good to go. Okay, um, they're still flashing, not sure what's going on, but whatever, we're going to click Internet LED is stable, hopefully it's connected. And it says power on deco and wait until the LED pulse is blue. As you can see, it's pulsing blue. Uh, solid yellow means it's starting up. Pulsing blue, Deco is ready for setup. Deco's LED is pulsing blue. Click that. Turn on Wi-Fi to connect to your phone tablet. That's a good point. I was on my data. Allow Deco to access the device's location. Allow. I just want to make sure the Wi-Fi that I'm connected to, well, it says Deco 20C, so that's something new. It's found it, connected to Deco. Where have you placed this Deco? Um, bedroom, hallway, kitchen, living room, master bedroom, uh, office, study, custom. Let's put custom because there's no basement. And we'll name that basement. Done. Next. Detecting internet connection type. Internet connection, dynamic IP detected. Okay, next. Now let's create your Wi-Fi network. This will be the name and password you'll use to access your network. Your password must be at least eight characters. I will change this password after, but for now we'll just put whatever. Um, network name, I'll put Jev Wi-Fi. Password, I will put Jev12345678. Let me actually take a screenshot in case I forget. Then we're going to click Next. Creating your Wi Fi network. So just spinning around on the app, as you can see. Connect your Wi-Fi network, and it gives us the network name and the password. Click Next. Connecting to Jev Wi-Fi. Found it. Connected to Deco. Testing internet connection. Deco is now online. Your Deco network is now up. Your Deco is ready to use. Please connect all devices to the network, Deco network for better connections. Okay, so that's how we set up one and it says add another Deco. So what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs and try to add that other one and then the, finally the third one. Okay, so now we're on the main floor and I'm still on the app. I'm just going to click add another Deco. Again, it asks us to identify the deco, so we're going to go to M4. 
This time it's not showing M4, M4R. Okay, I guess that's the one. We'll click that. Find one suitable spot. Select the layout that looks like your home. Okay, so we have three floors, including the basement. So that's what it suggests how you should place them. So I will click next. Power on deco and wait until the LED pulse is blue. So it's yellow, and I'm supposed to wait until LED pulse is blue. Give it like 20 seconds, I guess, a minute. It's still yellow, which according to the app, solid yellow means that goes starting up, please wait. So I don't know how long it takes to get to the blue pulse. This is my first time ever setting up this or any mesh system, so we'll see. So there you go. It looks like it took about a minute and now it's pulsing blue. So on the app, we're going to click that. Deco's LED is pulsing blue. And it says it's looking for Deco. Just put it on the floor for now. It's found it. Where have you placed this deco? So we will put hallway. Not saying optimizing your network. Complete. You can now connect your devices. It's the same network name. And it gives you another option, add another deck where I'm done for now. So we're going to go to the final one upstairs and we're going to add that. And then I guess we could do like a little quick speed test. All right. So this is the final one. We're going to click add another deco. Actually not going to plug it in yet. Uh, we're going to find our model. So M4R. Click on that. Find a suitable spot. We're gonna choose three plus floors again. Power on deco. And wait until the LED pulse is blue. Solid yellow means it's starting up. Please wait, as you saw in the previous one. So this should take about a minute until it starts giving us that blue pulse, which means that it's ready for setup. Okay, so it started pulsing blue finally which means we're going to click Deco's LED is pulsing blue. And now it says it's looking for Deco. It says found it. Now where have you placed this Deco? We're going to put do, 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 whatever, we'll put bedroom. Now it's saying optimizing your network and it says it's complete and you can connect your devices to this network. Do you have Wi-Fi? I don't have any more deck was available. So I'm going to click I'm done for now.
and now it is saying connecting device list and it's showing one online saying unknown and the deck was churned like a solid white now um so suppose that there's a new firmware available i'm not going to do any of that right now i just want to see how this works uh, if I scroll down to my Wi-Fi section and click on that, it shows Jeff and it shows Jeff 5G, which is from And then there is for the Deco, there, there's no 2.4G or 5G. It's just one network now. So depending on your device, if your device can only run 2.4G, like the old PlayStation 4, it's going to connect directly to 2.4G. If your device has 2.4G and 5G, and it prefers both, then it's going to connect to the one that corresponds to it the best. Um, as for now, that is pretty much it. I can do a quick little speed test and see what that does. And the firmware I might do later on. But as for now, I'm good. Uh, so what I want to do is speed test. So this is on the top floor right now. And we'll see what it gives it. So it gave us a ping of 13 milliseconds. Download is 187.74, which is pretty good. Not the greatest, but pretty good. And um, so that's basically uh, this quick speed test we did. I could go do one in the basement on the main floor, but I don't really want to do all of that right now. As you can see, everything's set up. It took 15, 20 minutes, and that was mostly due to the devices connecting and taking a while to connect. Um, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The only thing, to be honest, that I miss is the option between 2.4 and 5G, but this is how, the, I guess, this mesh system works, so it automatically switches to the best speed, the best uh, device for you. So hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any further questions, let me know, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. All right, peace.